Welcome back little monkey fans. It's Carrie here and today we're going way up to the treetop toy box for a Playmobil review. We have six amazing sets from the City Action Collection along with three direct service add-on sets. Item 5664, our tow truck. Look at some of the cool accessories our driver comes with. 6109, our glass sorting truck. I just love the great big crane on top to lift up our different recycling bins. 6110, our new recycling truck. 6111, our landscaper with lawnmower. He's got his lawnmower up on this trailer. Cool. 6112, our street cleaner. I can't wait to see how these sweepers work. 6113, our city cleaning sanitation team. These would be the guys to keep all of the public spaces around the city nice and tidy. We also have a direct service add-on, item 7867, our portable bathroom, item 6367, two of our city cleaning vehicle lights. I can't wait to check out all of these super cool sets and their awesome accessories. Let's get opening. <laughs> First we have our city cleaning sanitation team and our portable bathroom direct service add-on set. But it looks like this is in use right now. So let's check out our first city cleaner. And here he is. He has this fantastic leaf or debris blower and it comes connected up to his backpack. So he can carry it around to clean up all of the different spaces around the city that he needs to. And because the leaf blower would be very noisy, I'm sure, he has on his protective ear covers and that pops up right over top of his hat. And of course, that can come off along with his hat and I just love all the brightly colored pieces on his top as well. Moon Frank I'm moving on. What? Oops. Yeah. Well let's check out our second city cleaning crew. He has on a very similar outfit but he has a bright green vest on as well. I love that. And he kind of has like a toque or some type of hat on top. He's got a whole bunch of facial hair and he comes with some great accessories. So he's got a dustpan and small broom in his hand that he can use to clean up and put into his awesome cart. Then he also has this taller broom and the top of his cart will pop open so he can put all of the different debris inside. And he can hold quite a bit in there so that's cool and then we can just pop that closed when he's done. And the front part of his cart will actually hold his dustpan and his smaller broom, so everything's contained in his cart. Let's open that back up for him so he can finish tidying up all of these leaves and debris. And while he's cleaning up, let's check out our cool portable bathroom. There's a hook part on top, so if you have one of the crane trucks, you could actually lift it and move it around to wherever you needed to. And then we have no windows on it. And inside we have one toilet that lid will pop up and some toilet paper. Good thing that this was here so our city worker could use it. Love it. And when it gets too filled up, one of the other city workers could come by to take it to clean it. Oh, and it looks like our other city workers just finished cleaning up. And here's our landscaper with lawnmower, all 61 pieces. In order to get our landscaper out, we just pop off the top of our vehicle. And you can see that we have the lights on top of there, but they don't actually light up. They just look a little bit see-through on each side. And then we can pop out our worker. So he comes with this cool clipboard accessory, and it looks like it tells him all the different areas that he needs to make sure are freshly mowed. He has the recycling emblem on the front of his shirt, and it's actually a hoodie around back. So his vehicle has two seats up front and then lots of storage in the back. And you can see he has his other gardening tools. He has his rake, a big broom, and a shovel. And there's two spots in the back where you can stand up some of those accessories or they can all just lay down in the back of the bed here. Just like that. You can see the vehicle has great rolling wheels. And up front it has a front grille with these big extra lights on the front. And of course we have the hitch on the back so his trailer can pop on there. Let's check out his awesome trailer. So these two back pieces will actually pop down. So that will allow him to roll out his mower when he's ready to go. And we have these braces here and these will just snap in and out of place. And that's to help hold the tractor in spot when he's moving it around. You can pop both of those out and put it into the storage on the front part of our trailer. So this can store right inside. Love it. Cool, he's ready to mow some grass. 
and his tractor is awesome. It has these great rubber wheels on it. And this would be where his central mower is and there's no blades underneath. It's just made to look like that's where the blades would be. He has a special handle on his steering wheel that can help him steer it around. The only thing that I thought that this set would have had is that this back part could have popped open, but this is all solid, it won't pop open. But it looks like he's ready to mow. Oh no, our landscaper's vehicle won't start. He's gonna need a tow truck. And here's our tow truck. It has some great big wheels on it and they roll very, very nicely. I like some of the deck lane around both sides. And we even have a great big emblem up front. I love that. Very fierce looking front grille and lights. And then it even looks like there's lights overhead. Our tow truck driver has a couple of other accessories in the back. We have a jerry can so he can carry around some extra gas. And then he's got a bucket full of tools. We have a screwdriver, a wrench, a mallet or hammer, a monkey wrench, our favorite kind. And we have a crowbar and another wrench, kind of a socket type wrench. All of the tools that our tow truck driver would need to take care of any cars that he's going to repair. Part of the back bed is a little bit grooved. It's kind of neat. You can feel the pattern on it. Then in the back, this secures our back hitch so we can snap it up. That allows our hitch to actually lower down to actually hook onto a vehicle when he needs to tow somebody. And then to raise the vehicle up so it can be towed, you just push that back down and snap it into place. Love that. And when our tow truck driver isn't actually ready to pull somebody, this hook can tuck up underneath and be stored away. Let's check out our driver. You can pop off the back part and here he is. He's got a bit of facial hair and he has some overalls with the same emblem on the front of his coveralls. And then you can see inside the tow truck, there's space just enough for two characters. We better let our tow truck driver head off to help our landscaper. Hi, did you call for a tow truck? Yeah, I did. I just finished loading up my tractor, went to pull away, and it's not even turning over. Hmm, and there's plenty of gas? Yep, there is. I think something's wrong with the transmission. All right, well, I'll load it up. Okay, sounds great. And here's our glass sorting truck. This set comes with a total of 57 pieces. And you can see that we have our light add-on set. And there's just a button on top that you push to turn it on. And then after three minutes, it will automatically shut off, which is pretty cool. The regular lights that come with the set are kind of cool still anyways. They look a little bit see-through on each side. And you just pop this one in and you're good to go. So first, let's check out our character. We lift off the top part that has our lights on it to get access to the inside of our cab. And here's our glass sorting employee. He has on a cool vest, just like some of the other city workers. And it's got a bunch of reflective bits and he has a hard hat on because he's gonna be lifting up some of the big recycling containers to put into the back of his truck. And inside his truck, you can see that there's a space for only two characters, but he does have a couple of different spaces where he's storing some additional accessories. In the center console, he has his walkie-talkie, so he can radio to whoever he needs to. And in order to be safe, he has a fire extinguisher, and those just rest inside his cab. We have the main power switch here, and this can actually pop out if you wanted to. A bunch of different controls and buttons. On each side of the back flatbed here, we have two locks that can snap up on each side and that allows you to drop down one of the sides so that it makes it easier when you're loading in our recycling bins. Around the back of our truck, if we flip up both end pieces that hold on our sides, that allows our back tailgate to pop down if you wanted to load up from the rear side of the vehicle. And around on this side, we have a removable control panel. So your character can actually lift this out. It's like having his own little remote control for his crane. So that's pretty neat. Then for the crane itself, it's awesome. So it'll crank up and down. It's a little bit loud. And then this end part extends out. Pretty cool. And then of course, it can spin all the way around. So you should be able to pick up your recycling containers from just about anywhere. 
The last super cool feature is that this is actually like a dump truck on the back. So we can lift it up and maybe dump out any extra trash or garbage that gets trapped in the back of the bed. Cool. And then we have our two recycling bins. We have our green bottle recycler. And so we've got a hole to deposit bottles on each side. And we have this little lever up top here that allows our crane to actually hook up to load it up onto our flatbed truck. It also adds as a lock for these panels. So if we just push it to the side slightly, it allows us to push it up and it releases all of the contents inside and her bottle's rolling away. The set came with five of these green bottles that can go in. You get it all loaded up. And if you wanted to, you could also load some on the other side. When we pop it open, the compartments on each side are actually individual. So whatever you put on this side doesn't mix with what you put on the other side. And then we have our clear bottle storage. So exactly the same, we've got a hole on the top of each side so that the bottles can be deposited in. And we push our top lever a little bit to release our side doors. And again, our set came with five of the clear ones. And here's our new recycling truck with a total of 40 cool pieces. You can see that the set came with two characters, our driver and then our helper who's hanging out on the back of the truck today in order to help load up the bins. And the set comes with two bins, a big one and a small one. And they have wheels, so they will roll around, which is pretty cool. And this one comes with a handle on the side and this one comes with a handle over on that side. This lid will slide on down to reveal all of the recycling on the inside. It looks like today we have a bunch of cardboard that we added in there and then it can close on up. Our smaller bin has only two wheels on it and the top will flip up. And again, we've put some cardboard in there today for our recycling crew to put in their truck. So this one is kind of the size that you'd have outside of maybe a larger store. And this one looks like something you'd have in front of your house for your regular weekly recycling pickup. Our first character was hanging on to the handle at the back of our truck. And you can see we have one on each side so he can hang out on whichever side is closest to the curb that he happens to be going down. So this worker has on a black toque and a black uniform top underneath his brightly colored vest. And he has the recycling emblem on the front of his shirt. And our second character is in our front cab driving. And in order to get our character out, similar to our last vehicle, we just lift up the top part here by the lights and you can see that we put on our add-on lights on here. Same as the other, you push the button in the center and after three minutes it will auto shut off. And if you didn't have the light add-on set, that's what that rooftop would look like with the lights that came. So he's dressed very similarly to the other worker, except he has a dark jacket on, but he has the same recycling emblem on his shirt underneath. And this fellow comes with a green cap that matches the rest of his uniform. Inside the cab of our truck, you can see we have spots for two characters. Again, we have a walkie talkie and our fire extinguisher. And the recycling truck is super cool. We've got some great big wheels on it, a big front grill, got a recycling emblem on both sides and there's three different ways that this back part can move around. First the back flap will lift up and then you can lift up the whole back part to clear out all of the recycling after they've collected for the day. And the last part is to load up your bins so that you can empty them into the back of your truck. We have this crank on the side that will lift up this gray part and allow it to empty into the truck. So let's test it out with our big one. So if we take a look at our big bin, we need to drop down our top lid so that it's ready to be unloaded. And you can see that we have this little lever part here and that's gonna connect or snap into this back part on this gray plate. So once it's snapped into place, you can use your crank to unload it. And all our cardboard's gone. Looks like our recycling worker's getting the smaller bin ready to unload. Thank goodness our city street cleaner is on the way. And here he is. This spectacular set comes with a total of 30 pieces. 
Up front, we can access our character by popping off the rooftop. And on the top of his cab, you have his light. This one is not able to be changed out and it doesn't light up, but it is a little bit see-through, so it looks kind of cool. He looks very similar to our recycling truck character. He's got the recycling emblem on his shirt and he's got a brightly colored vest with a black hat on top. And inside the cab of his street cleaner, there is just enough room for our single character. So it has fantastic rubber wheels. We have our back collection unit, and this is where all of the debris that gets swept up from our front brushes would go into this back part, and it actually swivels a little bit. And when it's all filled up and they need to dump it out, the back flap can open and you can dump it out. That is awesome. You can see we have quite a bit of space in there. And the most important part are the actual front brushes. Inside our cab, you can see we have this little lever. If we push that back, you can see that it raises up our brushes. So when he's not cleaning, he can lift them up so he can drive normally on the road. When he's ready to sweep, down they go. And when you apply pressure, the bristles will actually spin. You better let him get off to clean up some of that cardboard. And there's all six of our City Action play sets, along with our three direct service add-ons. Little Monkey fans, do you remember? How many clear bottles came in our white recycling bin? Thanks for watching. To join all the fun up in our treetop, please subscribe to Little Monkey Media's channel. Don't forget, if you like our video, please share it and click like. We go bananas for toys!